positives are you going to take away with your team here tonight? Um, the way we we came back, um, I think the second period too was good. We've been struggling um, the second period lately, so thought that was um, a big plus uh, penalty kill, except that one goal. But um, overall, I thought we came out uh, had a decent start. Um, got a, got a good start with with Boothard goal there. Um, and then uh, they scored two quick ones, but uh, find a way to to get back. Uh, turnover on the third goal, um, but we got that back almost a shift after. So uh, tight game, you know, but it's it's tough to lose in overtime uh, again. What do you say about David Booth? He hasn't played a whole lot this year, but when he's playing, he's performed tonight. Yeah, he, he keeps himself busy uh, off the ice. Uh, I don't think I ever seen. Anything like that, um, you know, he doesn't get a lot of games, uh, but he probably is the hard working guy, hardest work guy in, uh, on the team. Uh, it's great to see. It's good for the young kids to see uh, the prof- pro- professionalism he, he has, and, and uh, uh, awesome to see that he gets two goals here tonight. But what does it make feel like like this for you tonight to get your first two as a wing? Yeah, it, it's it's pretty special. I mean, um, you know, it's been a long career and ups and downs and I think a lot of people have you know kind of given up on me and times I've given up on myself you know but uh, my family my wife I know God has never given up on me so it's really cool just to come out here and help contribute tonight you know and being in and out of the lineup you know just really enjoying being here and coming to the rink every day being very grateful for this opportunity to play for the Detroit Red Wings so it's been been awesome. How about this crowd? A house full of Detroiters get behind you. Yeah, huh? it was, it was nice, unbelievable. Huh? It, it really was. I mean, that's something that, you know, I grew up, our family's had season tickets for 30 years and, you know, watched Ben front row for a Stanley Cup, um, you know, when they won the Stanley Cup. So this goes back, uh, brings back very good memories. And then just to, you kind of feel like, you know, it's surreal at certain times. It's not really happening. But that was, that was so cool um, to hear that and to have this, you know, Arena City, um, kind of cheering for you. A lot of people said, oh, you know, I was going to be 33. That's old. You know, we got to go with, with the youth. But um, again, it's just, I think it's a God thing that I'm here, you know, and um, just having this opportunity. I, I think my, my dad's so excited for me. You know, he's, he's the biggest fan. Like I said, they've had season tickets here. And for him to get to see this, my mom watching on TV, you know, she DVRs it and then plays it over again, you know, just if I get one shift, she's like, oh, come watch your shift here, you know. <laughs> so, she, she, you know, she, she's, a, she's, a, she's a big fan. And just my brother, my brother's in from San Francisco today, and so uh, he got to uh, be here tonight. I know my uncle, I mean, we just have so much support. How would you assess your play up until that hit by Henrik? I mean, do you think you were a little anxious, maybe just – just because you were getting in there finally, or? Oh, you know, the first period, I I wasn't happy with myself much. Uh, you know, I was uh, I was kind of moving too much there, and we could see on the first goal. But uh, you know, after the first one, I talked to to Sal a little bit, and uh, you know, he told me what to be focused on. And I think in the second period, uh, I was getting better. You know, I thought uh, I thought the second and third overall we were real good. Uh, I thought it was great uh, that we battled back. I thought it showed lots of uh, lots of composure to stay with it there. Um, I thought we pushed hard. Um, I think you know we proved to ourselves that we can be a real good hockey team. We, we've played against a lot of real good teams, and uh, we got to find a way to win it. You've talked before about uh, your sense of David Booth's appreciation for the situation that he's in right now. How good do you feel for him with the results he had tonight? Um, you know, I, I, I think it was great. Uh, he stays with it. Uh, works is so hard every day. Um, Got to be one of the hardest working guys I've, I've been around. I think if you asked our players, they'd say the same thing. He's got a positive attitude. And, you know, the one thing it is, is a bit of a lesson to lots of people. You know, when you sit out lots, it's easy to get down and feel sorry for yourself and do those types of things. All he did was make sure he was ready when he got a chance. I thought he was good against Calgary. Uh, he didn't get rewarded. Um, I thought he was excellent tonight. He'll get rewarded. <laughs> he said that, you know, when he was brought in here on that PTO, that he basically thought the light he had to stay on the very Yeah. Um, can you just sort of appreciate, you know, the journey that he's had to get here and, and what tonight might have meant? Yeah, no, I think it's great. It, it, you know, um, when you when you kind of as you as you gain perspective in life, you you, you end up 
I think having a much greater appreciation for things and, and you know the, I don't think you get smarter as you get older you just go through so many experiences and you learn to really appreciate stuff and he certainly uh, has that type of perspective he's been on he's, he was a, a 30 goal scorer in this league and then he was out of the league and probably looked like he was out of hockey and came in here on a you know sent us an email and, and a real heartfelt wanted an opportunity and uh, uh, he was great in camp um, I would have said his chances of making it uh, coming out of camp were 0.1 percent and 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 he he pre, he was great um, he told us he was staying and now he's telling us he should play more.